I had a scare. Um, I, I suffer from, it seems like now every seven to 10 years, um, from anxiety, I might, my anxiety might flare its ugly head. Usually it doesn't happen, but I, the last two months I've been kind of going hard. Um, I'm going to be, I'm be totally transparent. It's been my birthday, so it's been a lot of, you know, parties, so we're having a few drinks, staying up late. Um, even when I was working, you know, going out, doing loads, not sleeping like I should. Um, I was working out some, you know, walking, working out. But anyway, I, I overexerted my body, and that's why the um, anxiety came. So make sure you get as much sleep as you can, much sleep as you can, and start eating right, trying to... <clears throat> Try to eat right and take care of yourself. But anyway, I'm back. I I, I was really scared. I don't know before I say I'm back. I was really, really scared. That that panic attack was probably one of my worst ones. My heartbeat got up to 190, no, 200 beats per minute. So that was pretty bad. They said it was pretty close to stroke. That's how bad that, that, that it was AFib. They call it AFib. So I don't have like a constant irregular heartbeat so that's why <clears throat> excuse me that's why i say the panic attack sent my heart into afib which is an irregular heartbeat um by me being tired and anxiety anxiety causing the panic attack and the panic attack caused my heart to race and it was it was it was gone i, I felt horrible i mean really really bad um, they admitted me, kept me overnight, but I'm going to keep this short. But, man, I thank the Lord, the God. I, I believe in God. Me and my wife do. We pay our tithes. We go to church. Um, this definitely was a life scare. Shook me up. So um, I'm trying to do things way better than I was doing them before, you know. But uh, I thank all of y'all for y'all prayers, you know, the reaching out, everybody that reached out, everybody that contacted me. Um, called, if you commented on, on my Facebook page, anything, thank you all, salute, y'all the MVPs, your boy is coming back, I'm coming back strong, um, I'm about to start taking my health very, very seriously, working out, I'm going to turn my body into the best shape I've ever been, so, um, some people might think that I'm not really fat, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't say fat, but I'm overweight, and, um, over the last month, I put on an extra 15 pounds, so I'm about to lose that 15 pounds plus another 15 pounds. So I'm, I'm two. I was 234 pounds on Monday, the 4th of July. So I want to get down to around 205, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna document my weight loss journey too. But uh, I'm not trying to make this video too long. But like I said, thank the man above. You give me a few more days with my wife, my family. Life is great. I ain't, I'm not trying to leave it right now at all. I, I'm not ready to go. Um, but if it's your way, if I gotta go, I gotta go. But, uh, can I get a few more? Um, anyway, so, this is our weekly review. So, I was able to run, uh, I started feeling a little better on Tuesday, the day after the 4th. And then, and then on Wednesday, I took, we took a load down to Zanesville, Ohio for $1,600. My wife had already, had, she, actually, she booked it while I was in the hospital, but we didn't know I was gonna be able to run it. So I was able to run that load for $1,600. Then, so that came from, I picked that up. Where did I pick that load up at? Papa. Papa, Michigan. This is by Battle Creek. Took it to Zanesville, Ohio. Then, after we delivered that load, we picked, we picked another load up, which was like 50 miles from Zanesville, Ohio. We went and picked it up in Columbus, Ohio. That paid nine hundred fifty dollars. So I only ran two loads. That's all I ran, and now I'm just getting my rest and everything for the weekend. And I'm gonna, you know, start back next week sometime. I don't know when, but um, we spent um, between those two loads five hundred and seventy-eight dollars in fuel for a growth of twenty-five hundred twenty-five hundred fifty dollars for two days. So that's not bad. Our net is one thousand. $972 for the week. Hey, that's just two loads. I went out, left Wednesday, back home, early Friday morning. You can't beat it. I, I, actually, I was back in Michigan 
Thursday. I came back the next day. So we are still profiting good. So just imagine if I ran at least three more loads and still home for the weekend, that probably would be around six grand. That's, that's with like six full trips, you know, down and back, down and back, because I do still come home every other day, you know, and sometimes the same day. And, and I've also, we've been noticing a lot of short, there's a lot of short loads you could run in Michigan too. Like, you know, paying six, seven hundred dollars, that's not that bad. So they're starting to pick up, the loads are starting to pick up. The fuel has dropped by, say, 30 or 40 cents. But yeah, anyway, this is a short video. This is our weekend review. Things will get better. We're still hustling, we're still grinding, we're still out here. I love y'all. This is the end of the video. Thank you, peace, salute. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be much, much more content coming to a theater near you. Now I'm just playing. Peace.